I have a question. Why is the reason that Michael Jackson turned white? Don't be mad at Michael Jackson. Ask me why not. Shout it in this. 
in the mystery of God. How you gonna do it? You with me? Matter and antimatter taken from the former atom 
You follow? They come together and make such an atomic power that they create a new thing called a Z. Which I tell y'all in Riz, we call a Z. Right on internet seven months ago. I said, buy it. It's the next thing under the atom. Court. You follow? Now they understand the power of the beings that are coming. And they understand that the one standing here knew something about some high sciences. And high science. <laughs> Before they knew. They, they want to know why I know. They want to know how I know. This man talked about quartz. And we had quartz. And you mentioned bias. And they checked it through the internet. And they checked it. All the teams to find out, did we ever say that anywhere in public? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. He said, no. Did it, was any professor say it? Did Einstein say it? No. Who said it? Nobody said it. One of the best kept secrets. Mm-hmm. How about Zeal? Did anybody talk about Zeal? Mm-hmm. How did he know it? weather was going to happen and it wouldn't be standing out there in color of the water. Because I told him this is a bad year for y'all. I warned him. I said this is the year of death. This is the one. And since you've been, since January to now, the media is saturated with death. If they learn to listen to their savior, They're expecting the wrong kind of man. They're not expecting a simple person, a down to earth person, a real person. They're looking for a preacher guy. They're looking for some reverend to come up. They're looking for something to fly out the sky. Too much TV. It's just like a thief in the night. By. <laughs> and I heard you when you told him that you were going to trust him until you die. That's what it hurt. Me. It hurt me deep, deep inside. So much that I can taste the salt falling from the tears in my eyes. That's the song I heard. And now I came forth. To say, you ready for me? Because I gotta put a stop, because I know y'all selling out. Right. All of our Islam made you forget to sell. You can come to all of our Islam with a whole Puerto Rican culture, music, dress, food, and everything until you drop all of that and become Muslim. Right, right, right. You can come to a whole Sudanese culture, a whole Haitian culture, a whole Liberian, Nigerian, Ghanaian, Native American. Chinese, Caucasian, American, Irish, Polish, and it tries to make you drop that and become a Muslim. And tell you what, I ain't got no race, I'm a Muslim, they're my race. Hey, Muslim is the one world order. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, let me tell you something. The new world order is Islam. That's why they chose Baha'i. That's right. Because all those Muslim chefs over there, the rulers of all those countries, as I say to y'all in that book 2000, ain't nothing but three masons, knights of temple, shrines. Now, let me ask you something. The most powerful people in this country are called masons or three masons. And the rent they go through after the 32nd degree, they go to the ancient Arabic order of the shrine. And then they put on a fence with a star 
a crescent and a sword, as he said. All Islamic symbols. Correct? Now, if the Knights of Templar become the Shriners, and the Knights of Templar are the root seed of the New World Order, then who is the New World Order? It's wrong. That's why they allow it to spread all over the world. Because Islam makes your brain dead. It makes your brain dead. You ever try to talk to a Muslim? They'll hold up a book by the round book. What about the cop book? <laughs> And the lungs, and the rest 
respiratory system. Why are you telling women to block their nose and sneeze behind a veil? I know we were hands up for years and I felt sorry for women. And I would tell them, don't be patient. But we get down that. That's just a stage. One day y'all have that veil off. Don't worry about it. It is something you must go through. It's humiliation. It's not to humble you because you're too powerful. Oh, yeah. <laughs> God noticed the woman's breast and how, how her glutinous mass was shaped when she walked to the point that Quran has to tell women, literally, don't walk too hard with your feet in order to move your body. <laughs> that sounds like the same God I met in Genesis. <laughs>
Abraham, you only call him a Hebrew because he crossed his eyes with Euphrates' father. You ask what was Abraham's religion? Abraham's religion was Aramachism. <laughs> Abraham's ministry was Melchizedek. You better go back and read the Torah and find out who taught Abraham about the one deity he referred to as the Most High. In the land of Shinar, read your Bible, worshiping Caucasian. When Mount Tesla came to him, say, Get up, boy. <laughs> and look toward the stars. Look toward the signs of zodiac. Look toward the skies. Look toward the Orion sky. Look toward Cyrus B. Where your people came from. Most high. Then I of you. El you. Look up there. Higher than here. Because they, they dropped your hair and they coming back for you. Give me that old time religion. That old time religion is slavery. Isn't it about giving the old time religion? <laughs> And that's only one group of us. Those that came over here from what is called Africa today. And if you want to get right down to it, the word slave comes from the word Slavic. So there's no such thing as a Moorish slave. Only the Slavics can be slaves. You are in bondage. And like I said, that's a small group of us. In other words, the rest of us were already living here on this part of the planet. That's why it's called the best part of the planet Earth. Because this is where it all happened. Between California and the Persian Gulf. All the way down to all the islands of the Caribbean. Oh, all of you take and cut it out and play a game and put it all back together. And the Bermuda Triangle sits in the center of the lower part of it. All of it was a maximum Ganawa. The Bermuda Triangle is how they charged their crack when they came here from Cyrus B. When Cyrus A collapsed. But we came through the Orion sky. And we stopped all at place and dwelled in places and taught them and gave them technology and they took it over to algebraic and beetle groups and regal and shared it with demons the powers we gave them wait just like the Freemasons we gave them that knowledge Woo. George Washington had on lace and a little wig <laughs> The ninth president. I'll break all that down to you one day. Right. Initiated in the order of the Moors by Benjamin Banner, who built the White House. Why is it called the White House? Because of the Spanish word Casablanca. And where did that come from? Dar Medar in Morocco. Because they were Moors. Benjamin Benjamin was a Moor. Have you had that name Ben? You know it was Ibn. And they'll talk about Benjamin Benjamin, they'll talk about the Washington, they'll talk about the Tunis, but they won't talk about the Yorks. When all of history records that there was a man there called Ben York that helped Lewis and Clark. And if Lewis and Clark failed in their mission, to trick everybody by purchasing the whole country and only end up with the 13 colonies and the streets of Louisiana and the prison house, then who do you think must have helped them trick him? Ben York. Because he was doing all the translating. Because he's the only one that spoke all the Native American languages. He spoke 19 different dialects of Native American tongues. And Lewis and Clark needed him. Go do some reading. So when you watch the child was talking, but what watch the child do? He started talking as though, don't leave out Ben York, who is known as Ibn Ali. That's why you got five names. Bay, Day, Il, 
Al and then Ali. The only one that's a noun there is Ali. The only one with a real Arabic name is Ali. All the rest of them are definite articles of Hebrew, Eel, or El, and definite articles of Arabic Al. And Bay and Jay and nothing but French. The only real name on there is Ali. Ben York, but y'all don't have that part. That when we over here as an Ansar Allah, and I put a book out before we got into your Washita about Ben York and his family name. <clears throat> Waiting for y'all to acknowledge that the ancient one that y'all keep saying are coming has already came. Then not take much to see I'm the man. Not to look at, but to listen to. been listening to Dr. Malachi Z. York, classic recordings from one of the many schools of thought, the truth for all Muslims, Christians, Hebrews, Jews. The time is now. Make your way to the nearest All Eyes on Egypt bookstore near you.